Hi all. In this video, let's learn some of the things which we need to know as a JavaScript developer. So the one is JavaScript void. What does it mean and where to use that? And uh, what's the usage of this no opener attribute and why we should not use evaluate function in JavaScript. So let's jump in and learn about these things. Yep. So firstly, so we'll start with the JavaScript void keyword. So you, you mean uh, this one like a uh, JavaScript void of zero. So let's discuss about this. So we'll divide this in two words like a void and JavaScript, okay? Where we use it and what is its usage? So what does void mean? So void means nothing. So if you write a function like this and if you're not returning anything, that is void. Internally, it would be like this, written undefined. It will not return anything. So that's that's about void. And what's about JavaScript? See, in an anchor tag, this is a normal anchor tag. In this anchor tag, we mention href as a URL. We need to mention a URL to which this anchor tag needs to redirect. Usually, this should be the value for href. URL, some URL should be the value. If our requirement is not to uh, reload or give any uh, URL here, uh, then we need to write something uh, apart from this H, uh, URL. So if you write JavaScript and if you give colon here, thereafter you can write any JavaScript code. Here you can write any JavaScript code. In this case, I wrote console and alert. So this is what about JavaScript colon. So that's the reason if you get any of a requirement saying that instead mentioning this URL, you don't want to redirect to any of the page. You want to stay there itself. Then in that case, in, in that case, you need to give JavaScript. So which it says, I'm trying to execute JavaScript code. I'm not trying to redirect to somewhere. I'm trying to execute some JavaScript code. So you're saying to uh, this, I'm trying to execute JavaScript code. Okay, what you're trying to execute, I'm trying to return nothing. It means void zero. I'm, I'm returning undefined. So here, if you re, uh, return undefined, you're saying I'm executing JavaScript and returning undefined. It means it this anchor tag, if anyone clicks this anchor tag, anchor tag, it will stay in that page only. So that's the advantage and the meaning of this JavaScript void. Here you are trying to execute this code, JavaScript code, and void return zero says you are uh, returning undefined here. So let's see that. So this is what uh, the second example. And uh, here I will, uh, as I mentioned, I will uh, change this to JavaScript colon void of zero. Let's check this. Yep. Here, if you click this, the page would be, I mean, it would be in the same phrase. For example, if I click this word, so if you see, I'm trying, I'm executing, I could execute the code. Here, if you say JavaScript colon, you can execute the JavaScript code. If you say JavaScript void, it would be in the same page. So this is about JavaScript void keyword. So coming to the next one, where we use this uh, REL no opener, when to use this attribute. So for example, in an anchor tag, if I'm not using this Ariel no opener, what happens? So let's check this. So this is the one. So I'm not using a no opener attribute. I'm clicking this no opener example. So here from the parent page, it is going to the another, another tab. So here there are two problems. If you're not using no opener, the first problem is this tab also takes the resources of this tab. This other page, this page takes the resources of this page, which will slow down the original page, parent page. Because if there are n number of scripts running here, this other page will take the same process of this page. So that's the reason this page becomes slow because both the will run in the same process. So that is because of performance. So that's the first and second one. This other page will have the access to the, if you access win, window.opener here in the inspect element, if you go and if you do window.opener here, you will be having access to the other page. To this page, you can access through this page. So this is a security issue. 
So keeping both these performance and security issues, we need to mention REL and no opener. Now we can sort out uh, the above mentioned problems like performance problem and security problem as well. So that's the reason we need to use this attribute. Hope you understand this, fine. So coming to the next part, like uh, why we should not use eval, evaluate function. So just an example, uh, just a brief uh, intro about this eval function. So this is a, eval means evaluate function. So it takes a string, anything string, it will evaluate and return back the result like this. It will take an expression in this string and it will evaluate and it return back. This is a minimal uh, usage of this eval. Okay, fine. What's the disadvantages and why we should not use this eval? There are a number of reasons. In this eval, you can have function also. You can write a function like this. Here I am writing some function and I'm calling this function and I'm some doing some manipulation. So the first reason why we should not use this eval is debugging becomes complex because any, uh, any issue occurs here there will be no number line exactly where the issue is occurred. You will not get that uh, line number to go and debug somewhere. So that's the main issue is we can't debug the code. That is the first issue. And the second issue is performance. This evaluate function will use JavaScript interpreter. It calls internally JavaScript interpreter and it will ask JavaScript interpreter to convert this code into the mission understandable code. So there is a layer. Uh, between directly executing the code, there is a layer because it calls the JavaScript uh, interpreter and do, it does some operation. So that's the reason eva evaluate function is a bit slow than other functions. So this is the second reason. And third main reason is security. So here we can write a function as well. In the evaluate function you, in a string, you can write a function as well. So this causes a security threat in the middleman attacks, they, they can manipulate our code. They can inject some function in this string and they can uh, shut down our uh, resources and they can uh, do some mal functions because this eval function is accepting a string, just a string. But here you need to observe, we can also keep a function which does some security attack. So that's the, these are the three reasons we should not, why we should not use this evaluate function in JavaScript. So hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching.